The Indian Air Force has officially retired its MiG-21 fleet after an extraordinary 62 years of service. The Ministry of Defense is reviving two defunctional advanced landing grounds near the LAC to boost forward air power with UAVs, helicopters and transport aircraft. US President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Marco Rubio met with Pakistan's Prime Minister and Pakistan Army's Field Marshal at the Oval Office in the White House. US President Donald Trump has announced to 100% tariff on imports of branded or patented pharmaceutical drugs from 1st October, a move that could have repercussions for key Indian drug makers. India and Myanmar held the second defense industry dialogue, and both sides reaffirmed commitment to long-term defense industrial cooperation. Hyderabad-based T-Works will manufacture advanced flight simulators for fighter jets, aiming to eliminate costly imports from US and Europe. HAL is confident of signing the agreement with General Electric for 113 F404 engines for 97 Mortagious Mark 1A fighter jets worth around $1 billion in October 2025. For its upcoming 2,500-ton project 76 submarines, the Navy is pursuing indigenous development of a 5MW permanent magnet synchronous motor that will enhance stealth, endurance, and self-reliance. Under the new Defence Procurement Manual 2025, the Ministry of Defence has now shifted from nomination-based contracts to public sector, to an open tender system, paving the way for greater private sector participation for artillery shells, ammunition and supplies. The DRDO has handed over its indigenously developed simulation testbed for electronic pilot to the Aeronautical Development Agency in Bengaluru, that will enable engineers to fly digital aircraft in immersive simulations, which will be used for early safety checks for supercruise of AMCA, stealth fuselage, internal weapons bay configurations, and simulate extreme edge case failures. Citing sources within the Chinese military, Hong Kong-based Asia Times has reported that India is advancing plans for the Agni-6 nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach 12,000 kilometers, covering all of China, East Asia, Europe and US Pacific bases. China military views this development as a response to its DF-41. As per latest information, the first Tejas Mark II prototype is expected to roll out by March 2026 followed by ground-run taxi trials and a maiden flight later in 2026. A second Tejas Mark II prototype will be placed on the assembly jig by end of 2026, and a total four prototypes have been planned, two for flight trials and two for weapons integration. The program is targeting full-scale production clearance by 2031, though limited serial production could begin before 2030 if approved by the Air Force. The Indian Air Force has also agreed to fast-track induction, once the Tejas Mark II proves at least 5 key weapons, with production expected to rise from 16 jets annually to 24 jets annually by 2035. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has firmly denied reports of talks with Saffron for engines to power the Tejas Mark II fighter jet and stressed that the Tejas Mark II has been designed specifically around the F-414, making any change impractical. On the geopolitical front, he expressed confidence that the General Electric deal will proceed despite U.S. policy shifts, clarifying that ongoing U.S.-India tariff talks have had no impact on the negotiations, and the fears of a blanket export ban are misplaced. As the AMCA program nears its 30th September bidding deadline, major private players Kalyani Group and the Tartu Advanced Systems are moving away from Hindustan Aeronautics, opting for independent or alternate consortium bids. l and has teamed up with Bharat Electronics, while Adani Defence and Mohindra remain potential HAL partners. HAL could pair with Adani Defence and Mohindra, or collaborate solely with Dynamatic Technologies and VEM Technologies. Kalyani Group is building a three-party consortium with a defense public sector company and an electronics firm, whereas Tato Advanced Systems is weighing a solo bid. Today's top three comments.
Omar dropped it.